listeners, I hope you have a great day and welcome to the English Education Study Program Podcast. Today, we are going to talk about Little Red Reading Hood, a novel by Jackie Walter and Bill Bolton. And now, I have some special guests who are going to talk about fairy tale. Guys, thank you for coming and please introduce yourselves. Thank you, Yana. Thank you for your invitation. Hi, everyone. My name is Yelin. Hi, Yelin. Hi, guys. My name Hi. is Philo. Hi, Philo. Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. My name is Nona. Hi, guys. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy it. And my first question is very simple. Mm, how about the book, guys? Mm, in my opinion, the story has good followings for children, including these fairy tales teach children not to easily throw strangers. Oh yes, I ag- yes. agree. Uh, I think this fairy tale is very interesting because it tells about a little girl who fights against an evil wolf who wants to be it, this little girl and her grandmother. And I think this fairy tale is quite popular, especially among children, because in this story it can make children develop a sense of courage to face difficult situations. Yes. Okay, guys, maybe you can tell a little about how the fairy tale is. Mm, little Red Reading Hood is the main character in this story. She is a little girl who always wears a red hood. The little red reading hood is often depicted as cheerful, courageous, and brave. She really likes exploring and carrying out the tasks given to him. This girl is loved by many people, especially by her grandmother. His grandmother gave him a red fulfer hat which salted him perfectly. So they was always called Little Red Reading Hood. One day, her mother ordered her to, deli- to deliver food to her grandmother because he, her grandmother was sick. And his mother ordered him to walk well and call it and not get out of the way. On the way, she met a very bad wolf and Little Red Reading Hood was not afraid of him. Oh, uh, and then uh, the wolf greeted the girl and began to appear sly attitude. He seduced the girl until she was directed elsewhere and the wolf went to the grandmother's house and immediately preyed on the girl's grandmother. When Little Red Reading Hood got home, he approached his grandmother and he realized that it was a wolf and not his grandmother and the wolf ate the reader girl when the hunter came and found the wolf lying on the bed he already knew that the wolf had eaten someone then the hunter opened the wolf's stomach and a light appeared from his stomach it turned out that it was a little girl and her mother and her grandmother who had been eaten by the wolf Uh, well, uh, one day when the little girl went again a second time to deliver food to her grandmother, the girl had memories the plants of the wolves in the forest. Then the little girl and her grandmother made a trap for the wolf by boiling sausages into a big top so uh, that when the wolves who were hiding on the roof of the house picked and slipped from the roof. They immediately fell and sank into the tub. Wow. Mm. And it looks so good. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want to it's very, mix very up? Green. And in the tales of Little Red Reading Hood, the wolf is often described as an evil character. It can teach children to identify dangers and develop a sense of courage in dealing with them. However, it is important to remember that the wolf in the story 
is a symbolic representation and not a true representation of real animals. Yeah. Children need to be given an understanding that wolves are actually important creatures in the ecosystem and not all wolves are bad. In addition, this virtual also teaches more false sucks is loyalty, courage, and obedience. Even though the main character is faced with obstacles and threats, he remains loyal and obedient to his mother by following direction and crying out his details to provide food to his sick grandmother. This teaches the importance of responsibility and caring for people in need. Mm. Overall, the little red reading head fairy tale can be a good feast to for teaching children about important values such as vigilance, respons- responsibility, courage, and obedience. However, keep in mind that fairy tales are just stories and children need to get directions and explanations from adults to understand the message contained in their fairy tales. Oh, I see. Uh, that's very right. Wow, yes. I think the I think it's amazing. Yeah. The literate yeah. reading hood and its character mm. car- characteristics as already stated the story teaches values mm. such as courage, wisdom and mm. the importance of listening to advice given by elders. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that's all for our mm. discussion this time. Yes. Thank you for you listening to today podcast. Hopefully this fairy tale will provide inspiration and entertainment for all of you. Okay guys. Okay. okay. Uh, see you see guys. You. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.